Hi guys, this is Rimsha and welcome to my YouTube channel. So at the moment I'm 38 weeks pregnant which means that the baby can come anytime now. So I finally prepared my hospital bag. Now that I'm done packing my hospital bag, I thought I'll share it with you guys as well. Um so before starting this video, uh I would just say that every country is different and every hospital is different. So you might need different things depending on which country and which hospital you are giving birth in but uh these are the things that are usually required or needed uh when you're giving birth in a hospital in UK and i'm not 100% sure what stuff i'm going to get from my uh hospital so i wanted to make sure that i have everything uh with me so that i don't have to rush to the market or to back home for anything because that's a time when you need to just stay calm and have everything so let's get started with what is in my hospital bag so i have made two separate uh, hospital bags one for myself and one for the baby just because i don't want any confusion on where the things are so first up is the baby bag so i bought a very basic uh nappy bag from amazon uh, which i just wanted something that was big enough to fit everything because i wanted to buy something practical rather than good looking because all that stuff but I felt like some of them didn't have enough space, some didn't have enough pockets. So I just wanted to make sure I get one which ha which can accommodate everything in just one bag. So the first thing in the bag is a little hood towel uh, that I've kept just to clean the baby because I think that's going to be the first thing that would be needed uh as soon as the baby comes out and I just didn't want any hospital towels or anything from the hospital to be used right away so I just kept one uh, of my own. Next up I've got uh, this little pack of Pampers uh, that I received in one of the goodie bags uh, from Emma's diary and it is a perfect sized packet because I won't be staying in the hospital hopefully for more than a day and I think 22 nappies are more than enough uh, for two two days at least so I just get this tiny one in my bag because I didn't want the big one as it's going to take a lot of space So next up of uh, this this little changing mat that was already inside the nappy bag when it came. So first up I've got this little outfit for the baby for the first pictures uh that we're going to take of uh him and it has a matching bib, a cute matching hat, mittens as well as a little vest. So uh um, obviously the first outfit has a lot of significance because for the rest of the life we'll be showing those pictures to uh him so I just wanted the outfit to be super cute and uh, very neutral so that uh, the pictures come out really nice. Next up I've got this little swaddle sheet and baby blanket. So uh I'm not sure if it's going to be cold enough uh, for a blanket but uh still it's good to keep it in hand. because the weather here gets it's very unpredictable and you never know when it starts raining or when it gets cold so it's always good to have an extra blanket so i've got two more spare outfits for the baby uh, just in case and they're both in neutral colors so uh the sizes that i have bought for the first outfits are 0 to 3 months uh, usually we uh, my family has a history of having bigger babies uh, and i think my baby is also going to be on the bigger side and just in case if the baby is small i have one outfit which is in the newborn size so uh we will have something to put on right away and then later on we can just get new outfits for him uh, then i've got some burp cloths and muslins as well as bibs uh, then i've got a pack of uh, water wipes which are supposedly really good for newborns as their skins are really sensitive and since they are 99% water so what can be better than that and i've also got some scented nappy bags just to throw the nappies away lastly i've got these little washcloths for giving the baby the first bath so along with that i've kept this little uh, bath set by the child's farm that i received uh, for free in the sample pack Uh, given by uh, Emma's diary and just a few extra things uh a little pacifier and a little pseudo cream uh which is a nappy rash cream just in case even though I don't think I'll be using them on the very first day so now moving on to my bag the first thing in my bag is the hospital file which is obviously the most important thing because it has got all the maternity notes and who your midwife is and everything So this was uh, the first thing that I kept on top of my bag. So next up I've got two night suits. So one is a button up one uh, which can be easily used for nursing and the other one is just a comfy uh, t-shirt dress. So next up I've got this maxi dress just for going home uh, so that I don't have to wear any trousers, jeans or pants where 
uh, it bothers me around the tummy area. Then I've got a towel from my house so that uh, I don't have to use the hospital towel because uh, you're usually put straight into shower after birth, I've heard. And I just wanted to be comfortable using my own things rather than anything from the hospital. Okay, so next up is this very interesting and fun bag. This is my breastfeeding and just overall feeding bag. I put all of my uh, breastfeeding supplies as well as uh, general feeding supplies in it. The thing I've got uh, in this bag is a breast pump and I will be linking down below what the breast pump is and I just bought a very basic one because I wasn't sure whether I will enjoy breastfeeding or not and then along with that I've got a few breast pads uh, just in case then I've got uh, three feeders uh, the, the tiny size from Tommy Tippy as well as a bottle cleaning brush with some dish soap just in case uh, we have to reuse these feeders and we need to clean them. And even though I am planning uh, on breastfeeding, I've just in case kept two packs of formula milk that are already prepared just in case I'm not able to produce my breast milk. So I will be using these and if more is needed, uh, we will get more from the market. But I'm not really sure about using them as I'm really uh, planning on breastfeeding. Next is this little toiletry bag that I have. It has a little shampoo bottle, body wash, uh, body cream, and it has got a, like a misty spray, toothbrush, toothpaste, a little loofah, extra socks, just in case I had to take a shower uh, in the hospital and just to keep myself fresh. And then there's a little tangle teaser that I've got just to brush my hair and a makeup pouch with all of my makeup essentials, including moisturizer, lip balm, and all of the things that are very important because uh, I've heard that your lips tend to get really dry, especially if you're using the gas for uh, as a painkiller. So it's always good to have everything in hand instead of just running around uh, looking for things or going back home to grab things. So I'm just I've just kept all all the things that I might need. So next I've got these uh, little cotton wool balls just in case we need to clean the baby from these rather than the water wise. So then we've got a few extra bits like disposable changing sheets and then a few. Uh, packs of maternity pads uh, just in case even though I believe hospitals provide some of them as well and lastly I've got this plastic bag as well as this uh, little fabric bag that I will be using to dump all of my dirty stuff like my dirty clothes baby dirty clothes so basically anything that needs to go into the laundry so guys these were all the things that I've currently put into my hospital bag and uh, in addition I will also be adding some slippers for the hospital then my phone charger, a few snacks. Then I'll also be putting a little water bottle with me just for the washrooms. And also it's good to keep your headphones and any extra things that you might need uh, just to keep yourself entertained and just in case you're getting uh, video calls from people because the nurses and doctors are around so you won't be feeling comfortable just speaking on a loudspeaker. And then don't forget to put uh, your wallet and all of your essentials with you and extra cash as well since uh, you might need them for the vending machines or parking or anything and in addition your, your partner or whoever is going to stay in the hospital with you should also have a little bag of their own with th their spare stuff and their clothes or food for themselves just in case they have to stay overnight so this was everything that was present in my hospital bags and if you guys have any other suggestions or recommendations then please pop them down in the comments and i might have kept some extra stuff as well that you might not need but this is all that i thought and i heard from people that you need for sure in a hospital lastly please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos